So I just came back from the Plasma 29 conference in Poland, and we got a lot of useful information from our colleagues, a lot of help, which I'll be telling people about in the coming week. Uh, but one thing that was interesting was we all encounter pretty much the same difficulties. Like, for example, we've made a big step forward in getting our impurities down. We heard reports from the big Stellarator project called Wendelstein 7X, and they said that they were limited in temperature because of battling with impurities. Also, they're running with hydrogen, which doesn't uh, basically give fusion reactions that uh, conditions we can obtain here on Earth. So I asked them when they were running with deuterium, and they said it wouldn't be until 2023, uh, four or five years from now, which uh, surprised me. And they said that it was actually because of the amount of time that it will take them to fulfill the regulations in Germany, even though deuterium is a very safe material. And we also heard of other mishaps that uh, some of the uh, DPF people have, have encountered, broken insulators, injured anodes. Um, Who had that? This was uh, our colleagues in Krakow with the uh, PF24, which is a very similar machine to ours. Uh, but on the other hand, there was a lot of progress reported as well, and I'll get to that in another report.